Ad hoc has been one of the most important human rights organisations in Cambodia since the time of the UN. Uh, there's a network of Cambodian human rights researchers throughout the provinces who are constantly keeping both Cambodian and international media up to date with the situation of what's happening uh, out in the provinces. Five of its members have been charged and are now subject to prolonged pre-trial detention for their work to promote and protect human rights. They're being criminalised, they're being punished for doing what human rights activists and human rights defenders do, which is to provide support um, and assistance to those who require it. They take up issues of the vulnerable, they take issues of the marginal, and they have been really a fierce full, um, and principled voice uh, all along these years. And for that, they have been in prison since April of last, uh, of last year. This is serious. It is very serious that in 2017, five people in a country are detained for that. In the last years, um, the government has been um, in introducing uh, civil uh, law, um, regulating NGOs in Cambodia, and has been cracking down with uh, detentions and reprisals. We know of cases of uh, enforced disappearances, we know of, face of people facing many threats. And it's enormously brave of people to stand up against the Cambodian government like this, which year after year relentlessly has tried to snuff out any sort of criticism or any sort of organising by civil society. And it is the more striking if you take all the support that Cambodia has received in the past by the United Nations, by European governments, and continues to receive. And therefore, indeed, we need the international community, we need the donor community to speak out forcefully on this. This is not acceptable.